we, uh, the youth, I mean, I'm 22 years old, so we were really hopeful uh, to make a change. Uh, so this election was the key uh, to change uh, the, the political line in, in, in our uh, parliaments. I'm, I'm not really uh, pleasant uh, with, the, with, the, with the results. Uh, almost the same faces in the parliaments, uh, no representative for the youth. Uh, the same parties and and uh, you know we we had uh, like this is our opportunity this was our opportunity to uh, bring new faces and and to do less corruption in the parliament we have a democratic uh, uh, system so i think it's it's a blessed to have uh, such a system such a way to change things in the country i mean look around us uh, dictatorships and and uh, fascist uh, presidents all around us so I think we, uh, I encouraged my friend, all of my friends went and uh, to, went to vote. Um, the good thing, the only good thing that came out of this is that uh, most of this 49% of the people who voted, uh, most of them were from the youth. So uh, like the older generation from the civil war generation, they really completely lost hope in, in changing the country. I live in Balbek. Balbek is mostly um, uh, ruled by, Hezbollah party, uh, as we all know, uh, but I'm personally against uh, Hezbollah. So I was uh, looking to bring new people into parliament, people who represent more or less um, a, c a civil movement uh, and less politically involved party uh, in the parliament. I was really hopeful for people to to vote uh, for for a Lebanese cause and not for a regional cause. Uh, but sadly, the the voting ratio was too low. I think it was an all-time low. It was 49 point something percent. Uh, but still, we're, we're hopeful and, and I think we're going to be um, more, many more. And at some point, we're going to outnumber them uh, in the upcoming elections. Uh, I really believe that.